so we're going to do, do another uh, DIY project today. We don't have a lot of time because we've already ordered food. We're trying to stay at the house today, not go anywhere. Um, basically what we're going to do is we've watched a couple videos on how to make worm beds. So we're going to make two worm beds, one for night crawlers and one for uh, red worms. We're going to be using a Rubbermaid box and this, uh, this old tough box that I have. We have uh, three bags of potting soil, a drill, and enough worms to uh, to last for a while. And this is this is actually topsoil, not not potting soil. So there's a little bit of a difference. It doesn't have the the uh, styrofoam pieces and things like that in there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and get on into this. All right. So what we're gonna do is. Uh, we're just going to start out by drilling some holes in the top of this box. This is the tough box. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, so uh, we're going to use this for the, the night crawlers. There's not really any uh, specifications, if you will, for how you're supposed to do it. I'm using the smallest drill bit that I have. Um, I don't want my worms to get out, and I'm using the same drill bit for both boxes, so that's kind of the reason for that. But I'm putting some holes in the top just to get some airflow. Uh, inside the box, this is a broken box, so I'm not using it for anything else. Inside the box at the handles, there's already some holes there. And then I'm going to drill holes in the bottom for uh, drainage. Done drilling the holes in the top. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's just a lot of little holes. Um, like I said, you can drill as many as you want. I think I think that'll be fine. I'm going to be keeping this in the shop so uh, it's not going to get rained on or anything like that. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Going to be it for the bottom. All right, so for the next step, what you're going to do is uh, this is some cardboard from when we moved here. Um, it's just been laying around, so I'm going to use it now. Uh, it did get a little bit wet today, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to place this in the bottom of the uh, the tough box. I don't want my worms to get out of those holes, so I'm I'm using this as you know two different things. One to be like a barrier, but that still lets water out, and then two kind of like a fence from a worms to keep them from going out the bottom. So just place this down in the bottom of your box. And it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be pretty or anything like that. You're just going to throw that in there like that. All right, now you're ready for your next step. Next thing we're going to do is uh, we shredded up our, our junk mail, bills, envelopes, things like that. It's the best place for the bills. So uh, this is enough here, I hope, for both boxes. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some of this paper in here to help absorb moisture. I'm going to put some dirt or the uh, topsoil and then put a little bit more and then finish it off with the topsoil. Alright. Alright, so this is the topsoil that we're using. Uh, I got this at Lowe's. I think it was about two bucks bag, so not, not horrible there. Otherwise, everything else we already had, we didn't have to buy anything other than the topsoil and the worms. Alright, so we got the dirt in there. We're going to mix this up just a little bit and then uh, put some more uh, topsoil on it. Alright, so I've got the first layer of topsoil mixed with the 
actually the cardboard and the paper. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling up this box with the uh, the rest of this one bag. We got three bags. We just wasn't sure uh, how much we were going to need. So that's all of that bag. All right, so we got that in. Then go ahead and start wetting this dirt. Good. All right, that should soak it up pretty good there. It doesn't have to be drenching wet or anything. All right, so like I said, we got three bags of the topsoil. I'm just gonna go ahead and put half of this uh, second bag in, save the rest for the next bag, or for the next box. All right, so we have one and a half bags of topsoil, some of our junk mail bills, things like that. Just make sure that you take the uh, the plastic pieces off of the the window for your uh, for your mail. Don't don't put that in there with them. And uh, the next step is going to be throw in the the worms. Yeah. All right, so these worms, these are all night crawlers. Uh, have two boxes that we took fishing. I don't think that this box has even been opened yet. Uh, this box I know that we used for a little bit. And then we just went to Walmart and got two more boxes of the Canadian night crawlers. So all we're going to do at this point is uh, I'm going to kind of pretty up my dirt, make it level. Personal personal preferences here. Um, spray it a little more? No. All right, so this is what we're working with. Um, it's real simple. Dump it out. And only had two there, so good. Good thing the fish weren't biting. All right, this is a full box. Just opened it. Same thing. Dump it out. The new night crawlers. Yeah, they're lively. And our last box. I don't know how many's in here. Uh, the box says 18, but like I said, we got them from Walmart, so who knows? Uh, I just want to spread them out a little bit. They've been in the refrigerator, so they're kind of a little, uh, you know, not very lively. We had a couple lively ones, but that was it. So we have them somewhat spread out. All right, so for your food for these, you can use, you know, light table scraps, you know, pieces of your vegetables, your lettuce, carrots, uh, things like that, potatoes. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll give it a while, let them kind of burrow down into the dirt, and then we're going to throw some food on here. And that's about it. You know, just make sure your, your soil stays somewhat moist. You don't want to drown them, but you don't want them to be, you know, completely dried out either. Um, they don't like heat. Don't like heat, so like I said, we're going to keep them in the shop. We don't have an AC in there, but it is shaded. And so far, you know, we're only into April, but it hasn't gotten really hot in there, so we'll see how it, how it turns out. All right, let's go on to the, uh, the next box. All right, so now we're going to go on to the Rubbermaid box. This one's uh, a lot thinner than the Tough box that I had. We're going to do the same thing, so we drill holes in the top which I don't know where I'll put the top. I'll have to find that. And then uh, we'll drill holes in the bottom right now.
two different packs of worms. Uh, starting out with a total of 60. We got some that are chartreuse. Basically, it's just from what they've been eating. And then we've got the dancing rascals, which uh, Bill Dance approved. And do the same thing that you did in the other box. Can I take it? Dump it out. It looks like they got some feed in there with these. That's your, your Bill Dance approved red worm. And that is your chartreuse yet yeah, uh, red worm. Let's go through, kind of spread them out a little bit. The uh, chartreuse worms, they we're not in the refrigerator, so yeah, they're jumping around pretty good. And our Bill Dance, Dance and Red Worms were in the refrigerator. I think the Red Worms were about two fifty a box. The uh, Night Crawlers were more like uh, three fifty, three seventy five, something like that. But that's pretty much it. So we can call it a wrap on that one. All right, so this is it. That's the whole project. We got two boxes of. Uh, Worms to kind of start farming. It's going to take a while. The uh, the red worms over here, um, they're going to they grow a lot faster. So probably two months on those and we can start having some, some smaller red worms. The night crawlers, we probably won't get anything until later this summer. And uh, what I would like to do is kind of get this thing going to where we have multiple boxes of each worm. And over time... You know, we build up our own supply of worms when we go out to the river to go fishing. We don't have to buy them. We just come out here, take them out of the box. I'm actually going to save some of the boxes for, uh, for packing the worms that they came in. And uh, we'll use that until they break just to take them to the river with us. But uh, otherwise, that's it. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you would, just like and subscribe. And uh, I know that we have... A few more DIY projects is going to be coming this week. Really, there's nothing else to do. Um, working during the day and then after work coming out here and trying to make a couple videos for you guys. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.